Persona 6 rumors are abound. This story is over on NintendoPal.com. Persona 6 development rumored to be 95% complete and releasing in 2025 with long-term DLC support. Now, this is coming by way of a well-known and well-trusted insider that goes by the name of Hit Head on the Block, formerly known as I'm a Hero 2. Oh, he's, he's a hero. Development on Sega and Altus's next entry in the Persona role-playing game series, Persona 6, is 95% complete. And the game is allegedly set for release in 2025 with long-term DLC support plan. Um, and there's some quotes in here that kind of remind me of the Warner Brothers story we talked about the other day. But there's a strong emphasis on putting together games that encourage players to open their wallet. Altus is looking at DLC from the perspective of being able to have smaller content on a consistent basis because development is taking longer and post-launch content is very lucrative. Hmm. They mentioned that development of Persona 6 was paused for some time in order to make sure that there was a two to three year roadmap for DLC. And Sega wants every franchise to have some longevity or with live service and DLC. This is something we hate to hear, especially those of us who warn people about companies nickel and diamond us for content. Whereas back in my day, everything was included on the game disc. And if you wanted it, you have to complete the game, do achievements and all this other stuff. Now we're being nickel and dime. So now we're seeing evidence that companies like Sega and Altus want to purposefully de just develop their games so that they can have a long tail of DLC to just trickle in after the fact. So you'll pay full price. $60, $70 for a game, and then you're going to end up spending another $40 per DLC, perhaps, whatever they decide the price of that. Um, so this is a trend I don't like. This is why I don't like... I didn't like the DLC when it first came out. You know, when we first were introduced with the, the notion of DLC, we were used to things called expansion packs, which were really, really huge additions to games that would cost like $40, $50, in some cases $30, $35, what have you. But uh, they would be, a, they would be a, a, a large swath of content for that game you bought. And then DLC started turning into costumes and cosmetics and in-game weapons and additional graphic options. It's just like everything was being nickel and dime. And that's when we started to see like, hey, this is probably not the way to go. So Sega and Altus seem to want to cash in on long, long, long roadmaps of two to three years of DLC. String us along with this game. As always, as the article suggests, and I agree with this, take these rumors with a grain of salt because even though this is a, this is a, uh, a good insider with a good track record, he could, he or she could be wrong. Uh, the Insider does have a decent track record. They were the first to leak information regarding Persona 3 Reload and Persona 5 Tactica and them being announced at the Xbox Showcase. So this is a reliable person, but it is going to be a rumor until it is validated. But the, the takeaway from this for me is like, man, these companies just don't, they're not hiding anymore. They're, they, they want to, they want to, to milk the, the live service nickel and dime DLC model as much as possible and that usually degradates the gaming experience from my from my perspective because you usually get these these unfinished games that are fixed or completed with some sort of an additional thing post launch which makes you feel like you got cheated when you bought the game at launch check it out over on the Persona oh, I'm sorry over on nintendopal.com they got the details Persona 6 development is rumored to be happening and could be coming out in 2025. Sony and Altus, Sony, I'm sorry, Sega and Altus are looking to drown us in DLC for two years with this game. So check it out.